Rumor has it that Nice is about to raise its willingness to pay threshold by 25%. That would bump the famous £20,000 to £30,000 per quality range up to £25,000 to £37,500 per quality. Considering that this threshold hasn't changed since 1999, that's a huge move and one that's fairly quite long overdue. But after a quarter of a century, why now? According to a recent Politico article, the UK government may have drafted this proposal as part of its negotiations with the US to help ease tensions over potential tariffs on pharmaceuticals. Remember when US President Donald Trump threatened 100% tariffs on imported drugs? The only way companies could avoid them was by building manufacturing plants in the US. Several firms reacted fast, announcing big investments stateside, and combine that with the ongoing UK pharma standoff over drug pricing, which already made several life science companies rethink their UK investment, and it's easy to see why the government might finally push NICE to act. Here's the thing though, since NICE introduced its threshold 25 years ago, the real value of what the UK is willing to pay for health gains has dropped by about 47%. In other words, we now pay roughly half as much for a year of healthy life as we did back in 1999, once you account for inflation, of course. After all, the price of milk or bread isn't the same as it was back then. Yet, NICE somehow has managed to ignore inflation for over two decades. According to the ABPI, if the threshold had simply traced inflation, it would now be around £56,000 per quality, so way above the proposed 25% rise. What makes this even stranger is how inconsistent the government's own numbers are. In the Treasury's Green Book, which guides decision on things like infrastructure projects for example, the current monetary value of a quality is £70,000. So when building a high-speed rail line like HS2, the government values a year of healthy life at 70 k but for a life-saving medicine, NICE uses 30 k That really feels off, doesn't it? Let's assume for a second that the 25% increase actually happens. It would absolutely be a step forward. But would it make a real difference? Probably not as much as you think, and here's why. The NHS medicine budget is kept under the VPAC agreement. Any brand medicine spending that goes over this cap is repaid by farm companies as rebates. So even if higher thresholds lead to higher prices, those extra revenues are clawed back. In other words, NICE might approve drugs at higher prices, but industry wouldn't necessarily keep that money for themselves. It's cost neutral overall. So maybe the real question isn't whether we should tweak the threshold, but how much of the total healthcare budget we're willing to spend on medicines. Right now, the UK spends about 9% of its healthcare budget on drugs, well below the 15% average across comparable countries, according to IQBIA data. If we truly want to make the UK an attractive place for innovation, that ratio probably needs to move. Still, if this 25% change goes through, it could shake up a lot of things. Pharma companies currently in the middle of a nice appraisal might pause price negotiations just to see what happens. And what about medicines that were recently approved? Would companies push for renegotiations under the new threshold? How will nice committees interpret the new range? Will they lean towards the lower end of the range to control prices? And will the change apply to highly specialized technologies too? If so, we really could be looking at thresholds as high as 125,000 to 375,000 pounds per quality. Updating the NICE threshold has been a long-standing wish for UK pharma, but it's never made it past the rumor stage. This time though, I must say it really feels different. The international and political pressure is just higher than ever. With US policymakers accusing foreign nations of freeloading on American finance innovation, there's a real incentive for the UK to show that it values innovation too. So will this be the moment that NICE finally updates its quality thresholds? I think for that, we'll have to wait and see.